Hi everyone. So exactly nine years ago, I was one of three recipients of the Anita Borg Change Agent Awards. The awards are given to technical women from across the world who impact or advance women's participation in technology, either by deliberately engaging in social change or as a result of their technical work. At the time of my recognition, I was heading a social enterprise called Solar Sister, and we were helping women across the country achieve economic opportunity by using the breakthrough potential of solar technology. We empowered these women with tech savvy skills, but also business skills to allow them to start small micro businesses in their communities. At the same time, I was doing a lot of work, empowering a lot of women and young girls, giving them the skills they needed to be technically savvy, but also to build their confidence and go out and do a great job in their technology careers. As a result of being an awardee, I was given an opportunity to fly out to the United States for the first time in my life to attend the Grace Hopper Celebrations Conference that was happening in Maryland in Baltimore that year. The Grace Hopper Celebrations are the world's largest celebration of women technologists. Now, for the interest of those who may not know who Grace Hopper was, Admiral Grace Hopper was one of the first women to ever receive a doctorate degree in mathematics. Her expertise allowed her to join the US Naval Reserve during World War II to work on the Mark I computer. After the war, she remained in the US Navy as a reserve officer, working with the more advanced Mark II and Mark III computers. I think more notably, Grace helped create the first compiler for computer languages and was the first female recipient of the National Medal of Technology in 1991. And in 2016, she was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom posthumously for the contributions of her work in the field of technology by President Barack Obama. And so to honor Grace Hopper and all of her contributions, Dr. Anita Borg, as well as Dr. Telly Whitney, founded the Grace Hopper Celebrations and continued to have an event every single year. This was founded in 1994, and there's been a Grace Hopper Celebration ever since. Now in 2020, because of the pandemic, the Grace Hopper Celebrations were forced to go virtual, and the first ever global GHC happened last year in 2020. And this year, for the first time, Grace Hopper Celebrations are holding the first virtual event for Europe, Middle East, and Africa. And wait for it. Yours truly has been invited to be one of the keynote speakers at the event. This is one of those full circle moments for me. Nine years back, I could never have imagined that I would be given an opportunity to be a keynote speaker at one of the world's largest celebration of women technologists. And I would like that every young girl who's watching this, but also every young girl who is aspiring to be whatever they are, either in technology or any other field, to know that you can always be the best that you can and do whatever you need to do today because all of those small things really match up to bring you to a place that you need to be. I hope that my speech will inspire those young women and the young girls to keep dreaming, but most importantly, to show them that no matter how your journey starts or no matter how small your contribution is, it doesn't go unnoticed. If you'd like to be part of the first virtual Grace Hopper celebrations for Europe, Middle East and Africa, please go to ghc.anitab.org. There you will find details about registration. Scroll down to registration is now open and follow the steps. You will see that general registration goes for $377 and academic or student registration goes for $153. So even if you're not able to join the event online or live, I'll be sure to freeze this moment and share it with you guys. So um, I'm super excited about this opportunity. I'm super excited about what it means for young girls. And I just wanted to share this news with you guys. Thank you so much. And I will see you on the next video.